Hello YouTube, this is the second video and tutorial on Game Solid tutorial. And in this episode, we're going to go over some more basics of Game Solid. So first, we're going to have to open up Game Solid. And I'm going to do this for every single video to get Game Solid. Let's go to GameSolid.com. And you can get it for Mac or Windows, and you can just press Download Creator for free. Okay, so then, so we were working on a labyrinth game. So here's my labyrinth game, right here. And I'm gonna double click it. Well, not double click it. I'm gonna click it, click it, click it, and press open. So here is our scene, and this is what we have so far. But we're gonna actually want to make the ball, um die if it hits something so what we're gonna do we're gonna make we're gonna go into here um what i just did i went to the scene the the ball on the scene and or the square i should say and i double clicked it and there's a lock so we're gonna go down to size and make it 50 how about, uh 25 by 25 oopsie by 25 Okay, how it's little, like it should. Now if we just drag it on, it will be like that, but that's not what we want. So we're going to go to here, size, sorry about that, it's 25 to 25. Okay, now if we drag it on, it will be that size every single time. Okay. okay. It's hard to move it around. I'm just use the arrow keys anyway. Oh, I want to... But now we're going to have it die. We're going to make it like disappear when it's when it hits a uh the enemy in this case it's going to be the hole because you don't want the ball to go in the hole so we're going to make another actor we're going to call it oops hole oh right. so first we're going to make the, the ball brown so we're going to go to color we're going to go all the way over to a, a bit red and then drag this down and then close it. So now it should be brown. And you can just delete that ball and drag on this one. And there, we have a brown ball. Um, actually, let's not make the ball brown. The ball is not supposed to be brown. Let's make it a little bit, uh, put this in the middle and drag it down for a gray color. So I can just go to here, probably get some gray. Oh, right, so we're, uh, that's not gray. That looks okay. Okay, so it's a gray ball. The hole is gonna be. How about the hole is gonna be dark brown? Sorry about my errors. Okay, so the hole we're gonna have it uh, go into physics. Um, set all these to zero. Fix rotation yes and movable no. Okay. I'm gonna go to ball. Go down to physics, uh, friction, density, friction, bounciness, that can be fine. We don't really need bounciness. Movable, fixed rotation, yes, we do want that. Movable, of course. So we're not going to get into move this time. We're probably going to get into moving next time. So basically what we want to do, we want to, here's the hole. I'm going to make that one smaller. I think that should be about... 40 by, uh, 35 by 35 would be good. Okay. So here's the hole, a little bit bigger than the ball. So now we're going to drag a few holes on. And we're going to have it so when the ball is touching these holes, it's going to say, oops, I died. So basically, we're going to have to have it moving this time, but I'm just going to have it moving up and down. So, we're going to do actor receives event. Well, I'll create a new rule. Actor receives event. Key right is down. This is the basic movement. There's better ways to do it, but just a quick way to do it. We're going to go to move. Direction 0, speed 300, relative to actor. And then we're going to copy this. 
and paste it. And when it's up, move zero. It's not moving at all. We're gonna have both of these to scene. So in, in case the actor's tilted somehow. Nope, not that. And now we're just gonna copy both of these by pressing shift and click, and then copy and paste. And here we have two more, and we're just gonna turn this to left. And we're gonna turn this to 180. This to 180. Left. Oh, okay. I actually didn't need to put that there, but just to make sure. Oh, okay. So then, you can understand otherwise also, but okay. So now we have it go. We can have it go left and right. Oops, no ball in there somehow. We have it go left and right, but we can't have it go up or down. So we're gonna have it make. We're gonna have it go up and down now. Um, just copy this. I'm just gonna delete this. You don't need to do that. Let's turn that off. Okay, now copy this, paste that, and we're gonna have this up. I think that's it. Yeah, it's down. Direction 90. So now, you can go right, you can go left, you can go up. You can't go down though, so let's make it go down. Right. So now we're gonna name these so they it's just easier. So this one is move right. This one is move down. This one is deleted. Stop it. Okay. I'm gonna delete this one. Okay. Uh, this one is move. I will get into advanced platforming movement, like jumping and stuff, but that will be later. Okay, and we don't need that either. And move up, move down, move left. Ooh, we don't have move left for some reason. Let's get a move left. It's weird. Left is down, direction 180. Okay. Move right, we can move left, we can move up, and we can move down. Perfect. So, um, we can get into walls later so it won't go off the screen because going off the screen is bad. Now, nothing happens when you go in the hole. So now, we can go create rule, actor receive event, no, not touch, sorry. Overlaps or collides with actor of type hole, then we do, we can, do, we can probably do this, change size. Minus and then just copy these minus three and four. And then I think this will work. I don't know, I've never done this before. And then we can have destroy destroy actor. Okay, let's try. That worked. We just press this reload thing. And let's see if it actually does that. Didn't really work, but looks like it's going into the hole. So, yeah. Next time, we'll probably get into a respawn button and walls. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.